Great evening, fellow traders. This is Austin. It's Thursday, April 6th, the evening before the monthly non-farm payroll event situation, or however it's listed. Um, they say that, you know, there's an old saying, it's predictable as sunrise or sure as death and taxes and things like that. Those are supposed to be constants in life, but there is one greater constant above all else. At long after the sun stops shining, if we, if we find life somewhere else, and long after death and taxes are gone, there will be basic human nature. Basic human nature never, ever, ever, ever changes. Yesterday, Wednesday, April 5th, in the evening, my website and blog had two times, maybe three times average day traffic, and it was the most hits to the website in a couple of months. Why do you think that is? I didn't do any advertising. I don't send emails out anymore. There was nothing out of the ordinary from my end, except for the fact that the market made a large move in the afternoon. Okay, so you know what the majority of, quote, traders thought at the end of the day? They saw the news, the market made a huge move, and so on. You know what the first thought was in their minds? And too many of them, unfortunately, sadly enough. Who caught that? Who caught that big move? Let's see who caught that and made, you know, tons of money and so on and so forth. That's the first thought, like a gambler. Those are gambler thoughts. And unfortunately, that's how the whole industry of intraday trading or short-term trading has been taught to believe. That it's all about quick, huge gains. You know, when can you catch the big moves and so on and so forth. Well, I don't know who may have caught that or who didn't. <clears throat> it's now I roll. And then today... The market goes right back to doing what the market does. Opened in the range, traded the outside of the top, outside of the bottom, towards the 233, and this is 90 plus percent probable on any given day. Didn't quite make it, pulled back to the top of the open range, fulfilled that 90 percent probability like they do almost every day. Back to the open range, hung out around here. Look at how they magnetize there. Do you think this is just some arbitrary mark on a chart? Of course it isn't. This was put in place here at 9.35 a.m. Eastern, right? 9.35 a.m. Eastern on the completion of that bar. And here we are at 11, 12, 1, 2, whatever the times are, magnetizer. And then they come back to the open range and so on. Moral of the story. That's what you deal with um, nine days out of ten. You know, the tenth day you'll get something like this, maybe. Sometimes it's 14 out of 15 days that this is reality for you, and then this is the 15th day. But this was a big deal to many people who were aware of my website and blog, tuning in to see if I caught the big move and or why I didn't. Well, I'll tell you why I didn't. I don't care. <laughs> that means nothing to me. I wasn't even in, I wasn't even around the charts. I was probably 50 miles away or, or more from the nearest chart in my office at this moment in time, and I couldn't care less because this is trading. This is gambling waiting for moves like that. You can't make a living or much of a lifestyle gambling in financial markets. This is trading. Caught a long signal this morning at uh, the 2350 area in the S&P, covered at 5250 for two and a half points. That was it. And that was within two ticks of the high there. And then this is where they pulled back and came down through the open range. And then they came back up and look what was left. Nothing but sideways chop. And then the, at the end of the day, there was a sell signal in this general area of 23.56 plus, and that rolled down a little bit. You know, there was a few points to be had there. There were exactly two trades today, one off here and then one from here, and that was it, whole day. That is circa 2017. You know, this stuff here, this kind of um, large moves on a consistent basis, we haven't seen that since 2009. 2008, 2009. It's been seven or eight years since the markets have been consistently volatile. Every once in a while now, every once in a great while even, you'll see that kind of range of volatility. But that's meaningless. It means nothing. And until a trader has that mindset firmly entrenched, until that's the mindset in the forefront of their, of their minds, they're not traders. They're still gamblers. Because this is meaningless. And this means everything. Right here. That means everything. You can build a career and a lifestyle and an empire on that. You can't do. You can't build anything. This that's a, a foundation of sand. What can you do? Well, you know what? I have I have simplified 
and I do mean simplified, the methodology here that we use to the point where a caveman could understand it in mere days. And there used to be a need, or at least there was the perception of a need, that somebody had to spend a lot of time in tutelage, a lot of time learning, a lot of time studying, and so on and so forth. And that isn't the case. At least not the case here at Coil Marcus. Now, a trader does need to study for a long time themselves. They do need, they do need to understand their own impulse desires and, you know, trigger shyness and hesitancy to take a trade and over trade and compulsive trading and all that kind of stuff. Those are, you know, individual issues that no, no other person can, you know, coach or help somebody overcome. Really, it's, that comes from within. But as far as knowing where to find a trade, you know, should I be long, should I be short, and exactly where, and what should I use for a stop in general, and what should I use for a profit objective in general, all we can teach that in a matter of days. True story. Those are facts. And tomorrow, on Friday, April 7th, I'll go ahead and lay out those details of what's to come. Hope this helps. Looking forward to visiting with you soon, and as always, best trading wishes.